Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what we've got for you today is an absolutely gorgeous fountain pen. Yes, you can see it there on the top, Parker. So it comes in this sort of outer case and what we'll do is take out the inner case. Let's pop that to one side and then it comes in this sort of leatherette in a case like so and we've got it upside down so there you go and it's a quite a sturdy quite a hard well quite a substantial case but if we open it up inside take a look at that beauty isn't it nice to the back you can see it's got this little sort of pad with Parker on it so what we'll do let's take out the pen first of all let's pop it to one side and inside in here somewhere there you go you can see we've got two cartridges inside the case so let's close that up let's pop that to one side and there's the fountain pen absolutely stunning what we've got for you here is a Parker Dufold International Fountain Pen and it comes let's bring it a little bit closer for you in this absolutely stunning and quite sought after red jasper so as some of you will know, some of you may not, the Parker Dufos came in, um, it came in a couple of variations, the Parker Centennial, this is the International, um, and the smaller version, um, which they termed as the Demi. Um, but what we're going to do, we're going to uh, sort of concentrate on this International. The difference between this and the Centennial, size-wise, length-wise, they're pretty well the same. The only difference being is the Centennial is a little bit more sort of broader in girth. So we've got the Parker Dufold International. Now the Dufolds once again they came in different um, different types. They, they came out in the Mark 1, um, they came out Mark 2 and I think it was a Mark 3 as well, maybe a Mark 4, I can't quite quite recall this particular one that we've got here is the mark 2 and the mark 2 was um they brought out i believe about 1996 when they sort of redesigned the dufold range um and at the same period they brought out this particular color the red the red jasper um so they brought out about 1996 i believe um, again when they changed the um, the design of the pen and then they actually discontinued around about 2001 so the size of it from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel it's a lovely 132 millimeters capped around the the barrel it's a nice chunky 12 millimeters in diameter so an absolute stunning pen some of the difference when they redesigned this particular model in 1996 i believe the blind cap here um, is a little bit shorter there's not as many bands you can see it's just got the one band just above the blind cap there the cap bands were redesigned in this particular case you can see it's got two um sort of same width bands and they're quite a wide band so you've got the two bands there and if you look to the very top there the the sort of uh, the top of the cap or the cap stud it was it then became slightly tapered as you can see so we've got the cap bands there let's take you up to the the clip the very recognizable clip of that particular period a sort of modern modern version of the arrow clip as we said earlier this slightly sort of tapered stud to the top and then to the very top there we've got 
this button to the top of the cap that says do a fold. Now this pen, nice and simply, I'm dating to 1997 and the reason being if I can look over my camera to sort of find it there we go you can see on the blind cap there we've got Parker now I'm looking over the camera so I'm not sure how clear but it has Parker and then if we turn it around slightly it has made in UK and then it has a date number and letter being 111P and that date letter is for the first quarter of 1997 let's give it another twirl so I'm hoping that's uh, that's clear for you okay so to the very end there it's just a blind or a sort of plain, plain, whoops, a daisy, plain end to the end of the barrel. Now, let's unscrew the, the pen. Let's give you some, some of my customary twirls, show you the different angles, etc. The lovely thing about this pen, um, when I actually found it, as far as I'm concerned, it's actually never been inked there's no sign of any ink anywhere on the pen now let's take you up to the to the section you can see the nice clean threads there we've got this band just below the section and we've got this quite elongated section there to the very end of the section we've got another band and to the very top we've got this lovely handsome nib let's keep it nice and still and it reads do fold parker to the very bottom there you can see 18 carat 750 so it's got a lovely two tone nib which is 18 carat Okay, let's give you maybe a different angle. Okay, let's give you this sort of angle here, you can see. So a lovely large nib. There's a sideways for you. And then the section underneath is a typical sort of dofall section of that particular period. And if we keep it still again for you and get it at the right angle, there you go. You can see it's got the letter M, which indicates it's a medium, medium nib. Now, the pen, these international pens, the size is very, very nice, especially for me with large hands. It's very comfortable to hold. It's a largest. Well, it's it, yeah. It's a large pen. I would say it's very nice and comfortable, and the size-wise, a lovely pen to write with. This one, as as we've just shown you, we've got two cartridges. It is actually fitted with a converter. And it's a Parker converter there. And you can see, nice and clean. No signs of any ink residue. As I say, as far as I'm concerned, it's been uninked. And it's in excellent, like new condition. So, unfortunately, because I'm going to try and find a home for the pen. And I'm going to leave the, sort of the filling of the pen to the new owner well some people prefer to just simply display their pens some people prefer to write with them but we're going to leave that pleasure to the new owners but what we'll do we'll do a dip test so let me take the cap off the ink 
let's just dip it in the ink like so and let's see how it writes so what we've got is a a Parker Parker do fold international and as we said earlier um, we're dating this particular pen the first quarter of 1997 as we showed you the pen is made in the UK and last but not least it's in the very sought after Jasper Jasper red colour so all in all a lovely lovely writer as you would expect from a quality superb pen like the Dufold International it writes lovely and smooth and as it says with a medium medium line so let's just give the nib a little bit of a wipe what we'll do we'll clean it off after the video and we'll try and find somebody that will give this pen a lovely new home so finally again let me show you this gorgeous colour and the, the red jasper is actually one of the most not the most but one of the sought after colours within the Parker Dufault range it is absolutely superb it's got these sort of reds and blacks and it's absolutely gorgeous so somebody will enjoy the pen for many years to come so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't forget don't be shy leave a comment down below give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and if you possibly can just down below there please support my work and don't forget people everyone from all around the world please stay safe but for now I'll just say bye bye for now